Is everybody ready to be heard? Pass those back to us if you like that one. Thank you. We're checking the vote. Not a vote. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Sorry. Wait a minute. Excuse me. But who's taking notes? We're recording it, and I'll oh, just make okay. her watch them later. Okay. And still pay her. So she's Let us know when we're in. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start it. Start webinar. And you guys are live. Recording in progress. All right. So the call to order the library trustee May meeting. Peter Bakula. Present. Richard Sazaza Galucci. Present. <laughs> Stephanie Dallaire. Present. John McAllister. <clears throat> Kate O'Brien. Here. Tom Pappas. Here. Ian Quinn. Here. Richard Sherhan. Jennifer Smith. Ruth Teitelbaum. Here. Katrina Basalo, yes. Stephanie Najaf, President. Director Kate Merlin. Present. We're all set. Great. Three passes back in. Thank you, Secretary Delucci. That was wonderful. My pleasure. All right. So, um, can I have a approval and discussion of the meeting minutes from last month? Motion to accept the informative. Second. I have a comment just always. <laughs> Sorry to be such a bit kicker. But the business is really dealing with the policies. It looks like the way the list has been laid out is that the uh, that the vote is taken and approved before there was any discussion. And I think procedurally Okay, I can move it. Move yeah, I can have those paragraphs to act with the discussion. Okay. And it just takes discussion of meeting room policy and then put the motion paragraph down there. I can easily just say for the other. Move that. I think it just looks better. Okay. I have a few other things, but I'll send them to you. All right. Um, otherwise, I. Okay. So, motion second and? Yes. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Great. Um, public comment. Oh, is there anyone in our? There is not anyone. No, there's. Okay. All right. Um, so, move on to. Oh, actually, repeated communication, which we do have. Oh. <laughs> so, we, I know. <laughs> so, we got invited. Um, like all of us got invited to participate in a Memorial Day activity for the city. Um, so in 915, they're doing veterans and other participants at Cedar Grove Cemetery, and then marching to the Veterans Memorial Park within the cemetery, and then a short service. And then the assembly for the parade starts at 1030 on Washington Street in Allenville for the 11 a.m. Memorial Day Parade. So we were invited to participate. I know some people did last year. <laughs> Fine. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, and it was very warm last year. It was very warm. Yeah, July. Really <laughs> really anyway. um, and the thing I remember was the band, the band behind the high school band, I think. And they were playing. Look at these new kids and they're playing in their box. And they're going at such a pace. That if we didn't, you know, <laughs> they oh. run over. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, just the ball and yeah, you can definitely you join. Yeah, absolutely. And I can send in. So the um, parade is at 11, or however long it takes to, for the parade to make its way to City Hall. And I think it's a half an hour. Yeah. I was going to say under 46 minutes was yeah. like. Yeah. <laughs> that was that's your work. Um, and I can send an email just at the time if anyone wants to participate in the beginning part. Also, all right. On to it is short tonight. Um, we've been busy with a little something called birds and bubbly for the last month. Um, directors report to the board of library trustees May 2023. Um, staffing, we are fully staffed except for still one empty part time aid position, so please send any qualified applicants our way. Um, our next all staff training is on Tuesday, June 20th, 
and we will be conducting a de-escalation training to ensure that staff are prepared to handle and calm tense situations that may arise in the library. We will also offer an optional active shooter training to staff on Thursday, June 8th, taught by CBD Sergeant Mark Saya. Saya. Um, per the contract, Children's Librarian Katja Pascal requests that the approval of a three-week trip to visit her family in Brazil. And here's a reasoning, quote, I would like to request three weeks off from July 31st to August 19th in order to visit my home country, Brazil. There are a few reasons why I need full three weeks off. First, I have been unable to return to Brazil since 2021. An extended trip would be much more meaningful and would give me time to visit family and friends that I've been able to see for that long. Second, the multiple flights from Massachusetts to Brazil take about 24 hours one way. After traveling for such a long period, I would appreciate the ability to stay a little longer to compensate for the travel time. Uh, building the South Branch LED conversion is almost complete. After that is complete, the city electricians will add additional outlets and Wi-Fi ports at the main library. And then to add to this, after the Christmas that Christy Gucci, um, the West roof continues to leak in new and creative spots. It's been patched by the city facilities department, like feels like weekly, and it never quite does the job. So we're going to need to figure out a better solution and a more permanent solution. Um, thank you. So. Christy Galucci for taking that on. <laughs> um, programs and initiatives. The first annual Birds and Bubbly fundraiser is a huge success, and I have heard wonderful feedback about the event. Um, as a reminder, this year's George PDB Medal Awards will take place in the Sutton Room on Wednesday, May 24th at 6 p.m., and will celebrate the highest achieving members of this year's PDB Veterans Memorial High Class of 2023, and will include speeches and music by the high school chorale ensemble. Um, the annual Peabody Elementary School Art Show will open here at the main library on Wednesday, May 10th and run through May 28th. Um, senior children's librarian Jenny Isovich reports that the children's department is incredibly busy. Two chicks successfully hatched during the West Branch Library's rent and chicken program and now live at Brooksby Farm. One of them was named George Pete Bobby. That's also very cool. It was great. Um, they're very fuzzy. Um, outside performer Baby Wiggle regularly brings in over 30 children at each event. At the main library, staff has embarked upon a long awaited feeding project to remove older and uncirculated materials to make room for new materials once the next fiscal year begins in July. All Welch Elementary School kindergarten students will visit the main library this month to get their first library card. And a summer reading kickoff party for children and teens is planned for June 28th. And then a whole list of upcoming children's programming includes. A plant mobile program, horticultural program in June about plants to eat. A ukulele program in August, an alpaca therapy program, um, a poetry contest along with the uh, Find Your Voice theme for summer reading, family literacy kits once we get the supplies, um, a picture book summer store walk in the courtyard with the book Don't Let the Pigeons Stay Up Late, and then art therapy programs. We've had three workshops. Um, so far, that were all very successful with full registration with and wait list, and another one is coming in May. Uh, senior team librarian Allison Bridgewater continues to visit the Higgins Middle School, Peabody High School, and Peabody Learning Academy regularly, thus checking out over 125 books in one visit to the Higgins. All departments are gearing up for summer reading, which will begin on June 28th with a kickoff party for children and teens. So this year features an online reading program for children and teens and a bingo program for adults. I will be meeting with the Peabody School Department for Food Services Director this week to finalize details for the summer's 15th free, sum 15th free summer lunch program. And then budget, I've included our current budget for your review. Everything's pretty much spent as it should be at the, you know, in May. Um, Trustee Chair O'Brien and I met with the Mayor, Director of Finance Department, City Auditor, and HR Director in April regarding the FY24 library budget request. I'm confident that our FY24 budget will reach the MBLC required municipal appropriation requirement for full certification. And my other requests were favorably discussed. The budget hearing with the City Council Finance Committee will be on Thursday, June 15th. That's it, short and sweet. All right. I, I don't think That she did with the, the prints that she chose and the organization and the framing, and now she's starting the unprinting process, which yeah. is just as tedious. Um, but doing one too good. 
Yeah, I think next year it'll be way easier, honestly. Yeah. I think we all know set up now, which was already fun on Friday to kind of figure out where stuff was going, but we all know set up. Um, we know how to do the eagles and the little placards. Like, I think everything is just proof of concept, and I think next year will be a lot easier, and then we can add to it next year. Okay, thank you to everybody who came and helped and supported and poured wine and set up eagles and did all, uh, thank you to everybody who helped that night. It was, we could not have done it without you. We sold 80 something tickets ahead of time and then another couple at the door. So, a lot, I would say, for a first event, pretty good. Um, and I know um, the foundation is doing the final tally of tickets sold and um, sponsorships and how much we spent. This was the, I think, most, this is the year that's going to have the least um, funds raised because this is the year we had to do the one time investment in all of the eagles and all of the frames. Which is a big couple thousand dollar investment to get those right. Um, but other than that, it was, I think going forward will be a great thing to do. Great. Good news on the budget. Yeah, it was a great meeting. Yeah, like, it was a very positive meeting. I agree. All right, can I have a motion to approve the director's report? Motion approved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Right. Um, on to the report of committees. Um, Audubon. Uh, nothing to report. No one around. Here, personnel. Not here. Policy and procedures. Nothing to report. All right. The liaison foundation. Um, other than the birds and bubbly event, which we don't know how well this is, but um, we are jumping right into the stadium sale, which is next Saturday, a week from this Saturday. We are trying to take advantage of other things this year. We got a lot of people saying, oh, I wish it was a week earlier, kind of thing, because they purchased a lot of flowers for mm -hmm. that person in their life. So we're going to go against the journey. It'll be the 12th or 13th, whatever it is. It's the 12th or 13th. Thank you for the reminder. It's always Yeah, so the 13th, like I think we could do 9 to 1 or something. Yeah, that's the general. There will be. I How are you doing? I know we've thrown a lot at you as far as the oh. like, um, is there anything we can use? Because I, I the foot traffic and car traffic year. is really something to take advantage of. So I will have Mike print out. It, it's again, it's because we've done it before. I already have the marketing, but I just changed dates. I will have a creativity lab library and print out some full size posters, and mm -hmm. I have all the online stuff ready to go. I, should, I can take care of all that tomorrow. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's sending it out. A PDF or something. Yeah, I'll do that. I can use. Yeah, yeah I'll definitely post. I must yeah. they always order a bunch. Yeah. And that's the thing. I just, just send text messages out to close friends and family and like, you know, you flowers. Yeah, um, I'll send the images out yeah. and every, I'll get it all done. Yeah. What, what do you think about the banner? Is that a possibility to get something for our. I think it's the banner's tough because people don't really see it because it doesn't stick out. So I've learned that when we tried stuff on the fence before, it doesn't really do what we think it will do because people miss it because there's all the I mean, I have the big sandwich board, and I yeah. I think before we put that in like the middle yeah. island, we can do that again. Yeah, um, I yeah, I think that's one of the posters yeah. I'm gonna have like right up for both sides of the sandwich board. Even if we go, I mean, I I'm happy to run and do it if it's a look. Even if we just had something. To put near the front door that just says geranium sale or something like yeah. super simple that would capture their attention as they drive and walk by because there is a lot of traffic going yeah. by. It's kind of Saturday. Yeah, but I think you're right. It, it, the fence has the cars in front of them. Yeah. It's just what you mean, right? Uh, the cab is always this way. They look. Yeah, we're not. Yeah, even right. if it's something like that. Just there and tired going over the doors. Yeah, I don't know how to get the thing high enough that people would be Yeah, yeah. The date? 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 The I'll make somebody else do that. Okay. I was just going to say, I don't want to put that on you. But <laughs> well, we could, you know, Martha, and, you know, the foundation side. I can definitely do it at Breaking Ground High School there. Like, yeah, that's it. You can do that easily. <laughs> right on Main Street, I would like to say parking at the Geranium sale, the Spike and Park parking lot. Yeah. We'd be looking at cars to see where to go to park. That's true, yeah. <laughs> that's 
optimistic, though, that there would actually be parking available. Well, <laughs> Do the, we should have one of those sloppy ones. Yeah. How about I'll start with two posters on each side of the sandwich? Yeah, I think the sandwich works. That sounds great. Yes,
find my email. So um, I, I typed this out on my phone uh, when I was at work meeting. Um, if it's true, multitask, which I don't think is true. Um, so if there's typos, that's why. Um, so what I said here is that um, I'm concerned that this snapshot of Article 5 doesn't inform us trustees enough. Okay? Um, there's an, it, I'll talk about the trustees now. Um, there isn't. There is another article, number 43, trustees of Peabody Institute, which is not forwarded to communication here. So I'm just wondering, why are we getting just a sliver of mention of the trustees? I think there's more there. Um, like they have the old charter that has a command. That's not one concern. And then um, the other concern I have, and, and, and mind you, these might not be real concerns, and maybe things are designed uh, the way they are um, for a, a good reason and probably legal reasons. Um, so please forgive me um, if I'm saying something that's out of turn and it's not something that um, is, is, um, is true, but um, it's more of a question. And I'm just wondering why there are no trustees serving on a charter review committee where the trustees are mentioned. Um, I think that's important. In the corporate world, we have um, stakeholders and we bring them together because when you change something, everything breaks everywhere else. I can answer that. And, and then let me, yeah, okay. Um, can, we, can we hold on? Is there anything that answer it now? Let me answer it now. Okay, good. So, Sorry. it's okay. I don't know how many years ago when they initially wanted to change the charter. Um, James Rebell was on the council. How many years ago was that? And, yeah. And, it's been like a five year time, I think. Yeah. And, we, and I was secretary, believe it or not. Um, <laughs> and they hired experts who deal only with changing and revising city charters. And we went through the whole old, 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 I don't even know if this is it, but old charter, rewrote every single article, this, and we passed it in um, to the council. And um, something happened, and it just, they were too busy. <laughs> um, at any rate, it, it it never went anywhere. Now, um, now there's this. So what I think to your question on why isn't there a trustee involved, um, I think the city council wants to, it's just my opinion. Oh, well, I think, no, no, I think it's that it's not just trustees are left out and the city council Right, it's a city council. It's not like the same. Right, it's not all departments aren't involved. Right, before it was two experts and and many um, chosen people from different areas of the city and different jobs. But now it's the city council has taken on this job. Thank you for that. And I think too, I think I was just looking up. So it looks like we've been asked to provide, and of course, but provide feedback to um, the clerk prior to the 11th for the 16th review. Um, so. Yeah, and this isn't by no means a criticism. Oh, no, 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 and just so anyone can get there. So um, so that was um, why our any trustees are trying to keep it. Thank you, Fran. Um, and I was asking about, you just answered the question, and it's also the email about submitting to the city clerk. Yep. And, um, chairman, I suppose, too, was mentioned in the email. Um, and from a point of curiosity, I'm going to ask all of your trustees, and, and Kate, maybe you can provide some of the intellect here with what George Peabody might have said. I think that there were some materials that I read before about the father of philanthropy in this country, where he said that there'll be a, a body of 12 trustees, I think, and that's where I need some verification on it. And I think. George Peabody also said something to the effect of, and these trustees will do it for no salary. And part of um, what we do here, I, I, I'm, I'm proud of it, is um, 
you know, we follow in, in um, uh, George Peabody's wishes. And I think that's kind of important. And I have a little bit of a concern, maybe some angst, I'm not sure what the word would be, about um, about pay. Because pay is mentioned in control of pay. And that kind of made me feel uncomfortable because when I did run for this position, I knew full well it was an unpaid position. It had nothing to do with it. So when I see pay being mentioned and thinking about what George Peabody may have said in the case, I'd like to get some confirmation on that. Um, I'd like to stay true to those wishes. That was kind of a concern I have. So I think the charter says also that we didn't tend to be compensated enough at the time. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah, there. right. <laughs> just, just, you know, just, having, like, just having the wording in there is, is opening the roadway into going somewhere where there was no intention of ever going. So that, that kind of makes me feel uncomfortable. Um, that was my point of curiosity. Okay. Does anyone have any other? I'm not done. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. I did look at the Mass General Laws, and um, I did speak to a counselor. And you know, the six years apparently for Mass General Laws is an illegal thing. It's not in the books. So the reduced um, amount of time is because of a legal matter. Uh, general laws. Um, so and another thing too, I don't understand, and I, I need to learn a little bit more about it. I just want to share this, so maybe we can get the ideas. Um, maybe other people have ideas too. Is that um, there was a point in time where somebody resigned our board, and I had made mention, why don't we go to the city council and uh, recommend somebody um, to get uh, approved by the council? And uh, interesting enough, um, you know, that was. Uh, we was told that we'll wait for the next election to fill that position, and, and we did. Now, I think um, there's no wording in there about that, and I'm just, or maybe there is, but I'm, I'm kind of concerned about that. Um, do we really want that um, to be the case? Um, separation of governmental powers in the library, um, the trustees have control and responsibilities here, right, by the law, and I, I think that. Um, we need to have some concern and clarity. If we're comfortable with it, then, then great. We can um, have the council um, elect somebody. Well, I don't think that's the wording. I think it's the trustees and the council I together. Think, then I don't have the full wording. Yeah, so it's the council and trustees together yeah. appoint, and it's only then until the next election. Right. And that person then can't run as being reelected. I don't. I think I've had the previous copy. Cannot run saying the yeah. reelection. They're about they brought the but not as an incumbent. Yeah. Right. Well, like Katrina, that, that would be Katrina, right? So she no, because she ran and won. Right. So she's running. So what they just did, my understanding, what they just did is the light. Right, yeah, right, yeah. Okay. And so Tracy will not be able to run saying that she's being reelected. Right. So that the yeah, trustees yeah, yeah. and city council will select someone, and then when they do, if that term is up, then they can't run. Was that in the um, communication we got? Okay, and I, I think I have like a one pager. Mm -hmm. or something. So, all right, very good. So that these are my my concerns, my comments, and um, not really opinions, but things that I've been into. So, sure. and, so I said my comment. Sorry if I said this to Kate. Kate, this is just because I sent it to Alice. Of course, and they had that was because that was what. Yes. That, that is the only yes. reason I sure. <laughs> the responsibility of the trustees, if you look at those responsibilities, stand for overseas the budget, hire the director, you know, approve staffing, whatever, whatever, is the same as the life commissioners. And I question why they are compensated with some kind of stipend and we are not. Now what Tom just said was interesting that under George Peabody's direction, the trustees are to serve without salary. But I think that was before the trustees of a library or like became like, a city department. And now we're a city department and perhaps not under the restriction of George Peabody. I didn't know that tonight, but I did say. I still don't know that I'm looking for confirmation yeah. because I believe um, the last six years. I can look that up. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. Yeah. 
that is I. It's such a part of the building. It's like the This side will last forever. That side is 1977. It is that. But it, it's a, and it doesn't happen all the time. It's just if the wind hits correctly. If the wind is, if the wind just happens to be in that direction where it's hitting the glass, it falls down. It doesn't happen every time it rains. It's special. And gross. And that's why you can see that the carpet squares are changed because they've been switched out. I can talk to Rick about that though. Um, unfinished business. So I know I two things for the George P. Metal Award. Um, yeah, so so there's two parts to that always from historic um, handle that they have them. As Kate mentioned, the medal ceremony is May twenty fourth. And that's here, and that's when Corral comes and sings, and the parents are invited, and all the elected officials come and they give their service and all that stuff. And before COVID, we always actually did the pinning at graduation in front of the whole class because it is such an honor um, that many felt like it deserved to have their class witness them receiving. Yeah. It's, it's, it's so historic. I mean, it's been 100 and almost 90 years, I think, mean, 185 years we've been doing it. So it's quite, you know, quite a big deal. So now, at this point, um, the current principal, Brooke Randall, has left it up to us. She doesn't care how we want to do it as far as wanting to pin at graduation, pin at convocation. Those are really our two almost only opportunities to pin because we're always running down to the wire to get the medals in the first place. Um, we've never been, to my knowledge at least, at the, at the actual ceremony that's here at the library, we've never been there. It's always been something done so the whole class can observe. Um, so I think it's just a matter of, of you know, Kate is the present this year, so it does fall to her first. Her first is on um, being present, but how we all feel about they just need direction from us. Do we want to do it at graduation or do it at convocation? So it's just those kids who got invited who are getting awards. So it's by invitation only. So it's all the kids who are getting scholarships. So it's, it's all those, you know, private families who have donated and they stay there. So the whole class is definitely not there. Um, and then graduation, you walk out with, like, the principal and the elected officials. You walk out. You're there. The pinning is early because it's before, obviously, they're calling the names, what have you. And you're just, you know, sitting in the field and the gym, how it works together. And that's that. And you give a very, you give a short speech about the history and, you know, you know this is and just the history behind why we're doing that. And they get a book, they get a book. All that happens is here, and they get a book with their name in it from the very first day that started till today. So it's pretty cool. Okay, books get bigger. Does anyone have any concerns or comments on when they prefer to have be awarded? So I think it has everything to do with who can do it. Okay. I mean, I think graduation. I agree. Like everyone. Graduation. I think it's an honor. And, and you know, I could those, wait those if people kids are out of all the What's the number of all those academically and socially successful kids? And they're all getting awarded, and I think to have just the whole unit of city of that class getting to see those eight kids who worked really hard to get, you know, it's just academic only, but it's still an achievement. And it's not a lot of kids that get this really award, eight. so it's, it's not going to take up any not time. Not take time. Okay. We did it one year, we did it two at a time, and we're being a blue tire mark tag. She didn't want to have it, was like four months over. So it's, it's a blip. It's like a couple of minutes, and that's it. It's also a recognition of the George. Exactly. Like the whole group. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're part of history forever. They just have to keep in the city. So, it's very cool. Yeah, very cool. All right. So, I, I think any graduation. Yep. Okay. Okay. Sounds great. great. The only other thing I wanted to bring up um, that we had talked last time Sharon, Janet, is retiring. And we had kind of mentioned doing something from the trustees. So, I think what we're doing at the library, we're having a off site dinner for her at the Cow Room. To where she went to be very surprised about that. Wow. Um, and that's just staff. And then I think at some point that she leaves it over last week is elected in May. So we're going to have just like a cake and a thank you here to the library one of those afternoons. 
Um, I don't know. I can invite the trip. I don't know. How no, no. I was thinking, about. like, I didn't know if people felt it was appropriate moving forward. And I don't think we've done it in the past. But Sharon's been at the library. Or something. She was there. She was <laughs> tonight school. And, you know, those people have been longing to do, like, flowers in the park. And trust me, they just thought that people were in the We have money in the um, little fund. Yeah. Well, and I just yeah. thought that that is for, and I keep fighting that. Oh, that's right. Well, <laughs> So I don't know if people were and did you for like her last week. Yeah, I'll let you know when her when our like like the party here. And not that we necessarily have to just like something I thought we we could go to Evans and have something made up for the time. Well we have that little fun that we get to use for dinner. Why couldn't we use that? Yeah, what is the Yeah, we never use all that. I don't know what that's supposed to be. I don't think it's I think it's a thousand. Yeah, but there's a little bit of it's like it is five hundred some dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like the sunshine money or this money, and I just thought, I just thought it would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little. We've been watching it lately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Keeping on track. And then I don't think anything, just like something yeah, nice from like thirty years ago. Nice. I so, so just, just so, so I, I get it. So like a bouquet from Whole Foods, they get beautiful bouquets for for. I mean, I don't, I, I don't know this woman, so I don't know what the planter for or something from Evans. I mean, I, I don't know what. I don't know. Maybe like a. Let me just let me talk to my the people that know her better. Okay, okay sure. And then and we can be yeah, that's an appropriate. Um, I just wanted to bring up about that. And maybe kind of put it'll be in our meeting notes, but just moving forward. And like when when is this happening? When is it the last year? Last week of May. I'm not sure the date. Oh oh oh. So we we'll have a little time. I'm sorry, this is a very quick question about the charter review. The section that we sent, sent was just the trustee section? It mm -hmm. had trustees, light commission. So just as a public, as a, as a public citizen, do we get to put any opinions in our other? So this was, this was at their regular meeting. Yeah. It was to send it along to the school committee, light commission, and us to provide comments for this specific sorry. section. Yeah. So I don't know what the other, I, I would assume think. at some point there would be, Public. I don't think so. I, I would say no. I would say no. You know, I would say no public uh, opinions or comments taken. Okay. Um, is there any other unfinished business? Okay. Um, oh, or can we vote to approve Patches? We did. Yeah, we did. No, it's okay. We did, right? Yeah. Okay. I hadn't checked off. <laughs> okay. Um, for our next meeting is June fifth at six thirty. That is that meeting. So as a one, one we'll have to vote a for the hiatus for the summer. Yeah. yeah. Um, and at that meeting, I also will have. I'll be reaching out to you, Matalo. Um, a brand new programming and display policy that goes along with our collection development policy, basically. Um, stating, you know, what we aim to do in every program we have and every display we put up, and some guidelines that we ask the staff to follow with official policy, just like public by and stuff like that. So we'll work on that, and then that'll be for your discussion with approval at the June meeting. Okay, great. Um, can I have a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Thank you so much. Good night. Good night. Thank you. No, 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 no. I got.